Let's talk the SDCC Funko Pop releases that we kinda know about thus far. And when I say kinda know about thus far, I mean like Funko hasn't officially announced them and SDCC hasn't officially announced them. They've kinda put them on an SDCC blog, which they make sure they tell you is unofficial, you know, because that's what Funko does with everything that they do. It's kinda strange that we haven't seen Funko announce anything on Instagram. They haven't announced it on their website. They haven't announced it on Twitter. They haven't seen simply announced it anywhere and I wonder if this is a breakdown in Funko or if they're not announcing it because the list is rather I'm going to make you decide if it's lackluster or not because I feel like it's rather lackluster but I would love to hear what you have to say and these are not going to be in any particular order I will tell you which ones I think are super hot and which ones I think are super weak the first one that we're going to talk about is going to be from Flash. This is Barry Allen in the electric chair, number 1413. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know nothing about Flash. What I do know is that everything Flash has been kind of... I don't want to say lackluster because I just said that, but it's it, it's been very very boring and it hasn't really hit anything yet but this could this could be a difference because this is a con exclusive this one could be different we will just have to wait and see next is going to be something that you're only going to be able to get at the SDCC booths is going to be a limited edition Batman minty mini bitty bitty pops bitty pops bitty pops this is a limited edition 4,000 piece this is going to have Batman Joker and I'm going to say Batwoman but it could be Batgirl don't like lynch me down in the comments below it could very easily be Batwoman or Batgirl. I don't know. And then it has that one mystery that all the mini biddies have. They don't tell us which ones are in the mysteries. We don't know. The only way you're going to know is to buy these and find out. And then we will find out which one of these are super rare and which one of these are not. Now, we do know that these mini, these bitty, these bitty, I'll keep wanting to say mini, these bitty pops have been going up in price. So these might go up in price as well, especially since it's the first limited edition that I've seen in the Biddy Pops. I would keep your eye on these if you're trying to flip or or if you're just really into these mini Biddy, 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 whatever it is. Next one we're going to talk about is going to be a new line that they've been coming out with. You've seen it in the run, the Funko Box of Run or Run of Fun or whatever it is they, they called it. They have the now Blockbuster VHS tapes. This one is going to be super Super Friends Batman. Now this one is going to come with the Chase variant, which is a 1 in a 6 odds of getting the Chase variant. 1 in 6 odds is pretty common when it comes to Funko as to what you're going to get from them, but this is pretty hot. I want the, the evil Batman myself, but I, I believe that this is another one that you're only going to be able to get at the boost. Now I don't know that for sure. Most of the time, all of these pops actually go on the Funko website the same day that they hit the SDCC, so let's keep our fingers crossed that that's something we're going to see but the one thing we do see out of this list is a lot more limited editions and when i say a lot more limited editions i mean like 2019 2018 4,000, 4,500 piece feel more like a limited edition than 15,000 20,000 30,000 these numbers that we have been seeing from them in the last few years you know that no con would be right without some Star Wars pops. We're going to have the Young Leia, which to me is very lackluster. And then we have the 3 liter Darth Vader, which is another limited edition to 4,500 pieces. This one is going to be hot. Only because the numbers are so low, it's going to be hot. Now we know with the 3 liters, they're fairly expensive. They always have been. This is going to be a 40 or $45 pop or a 3 liter or a soda or whatever it is that you're calling them. I will say that the 3 liters feel a lot like like a, a designer plastic than a, a largely produced plastic. So think about that when you're looking at the price of this one. This is pretty cool. The next one that we're going to be talking about is also another one that I think is very lackluster. Unless you're into Transformers and you're a diehard fan of Transformers and you have to have everything Transformers like I do Deadpool, this is probably one of them that you're going to want to keep your eyes on. But to me, it's very lackluster. It's going to be the two-bag Rod, 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 Rodis, Rodis and, and Galactic. Galactron, a Galactron, a Galactron, whatever, whatever it is, you know what I'm trying to say. The picture's right there, you figure it out. <laughs> the next is going to be two more of the Blockbuster relines. We're going to have Buzz Lightyear. 
I don't really know because you don't see the cover of these, so I don't know if this is supposed to be from the Toy Story or if this is supposed to be from the actual like movie they made of Buzz Lightyear. I'm only going to assume that this is actually from the movie Buzz Lightyear because I think if they did the Toy Story, we're going to see a Woody because I believe that that would be far more epic than seeing a Buzz in Toy Story, but I don't know that for sure. This is another one that looks like maybe it's only going to be at the con as well. And then they're going to have a Peter Pan and the Peter Pan to me is going to be decently hot, but I don't see it being completely on fire. We can't have a con without a lounge fly bag, so they had this lounge fly flag that is limited to 4,000 pieces. Remember what I said a minute ago? These limited editions feel more like limited editions than anything we've seen from Funko in the past few years, so I think everything limited edition at this con is going to be pretty hot. How hot will depend on the market and how, they've, how much they've stomped it into the ground. Like the three Leader Darth Vader would be pretty hot, but this lounge fly should be okay. I have no clue what it is from. Casey Jr. Cookies? I I don't know. I I don't know, and I don't really get into lounge fly. But if you're into lounge fly, it looks. It looks okay. <laughs> the next one on the list is going to be a Love and Thunder Thor. This is another one that is very weak to me. It doesn't feel like anything real special. I would have liked to have seen maybe the Love and Thunder Naked Thor at a con because to me that would have that would have been a little cooler. It would have been a little bit more iconic. It would have it would have touched the humor. It would have touched the cool. It would have touched all kinds of crazy things at the same time. But we didn't see it. We seen this instead. Rather weak. Maybe we're gonna see something else coming up here in the future. Future, they're going to do another vaulted pop, which is kind of cool. So we're going to see them pull another pop out of the vault. They're going to pull out number. Check this out: zero three C Spider Man. Now this one's going to be a twenty five thousand piece limited edition this comes in that whole 10 with the card of authenticity a pen and look this is a really really cool set i picked up the joker because otherwise i would have never been able to afford the joker this is one of those chances to grab the spider-man that maybe you would have never been able to grab to begin with but but you wanted in your collection and you were just kind of looking at it as one of those pops you would never obtain this is your chance to get your hands on it does come in the vault it does come on a stand it is in a completely different box so if, if the box and all of that was part that you wanted you're going to miss that but it is the same pop last but not least that we know is coming out thus far is going to be a jurassic park bombardment so we're going to see a jurassic park combination of things that you're going to get with the dentist net natalie you're going to be able to get like i hope i said that right if i didn't it's okay it's whatever it's going to be a whole combination you're going to get a lanyard some pens some some a few other things to me this one's pretty lackluster then we're going to see another check this out another blockbuster vhs this is like this must be where they're going to try and debut you these VHS is the hardest. This one is going to be Ian from Jurassic Park. Now this is one of the most iconic characters, so it only makes sense to me that he's going to be the one that's entitled this. They did not show if there was going to be a Chase variant. They didn't say if it was a limited edition. We didn't see any of that, so I don't 100% know and I don't 100% think there is a Chase variant on this one. I think this is just going to be in the VHS. I think that they're just going to kind of scatter the Chase variants like they did in the sodas. Well, not originally in the sodas, but later on in the sodas they kind of decided some of them don't have chases some of them do i think we're kind of going to see the same thing come from the vhs but the hottest thing i think is going to be on this this so far that we've seen drop this can be it because this is a very small small list if this is it is going to be the raptor Hatchling. This thing is already selling in the secondary market for, for quite a bit of money. So you're going to, look, if you're into Jurassic Park and you have all of the dinosaurs and you're like, oh, I got to have one that's going to come out of this SDCC thus far, this is going to be your pop that you want to get your hands on. Now, this is the moment where I'm supposed to say, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, all of that good stuff. Hey, if you do that, that's super cool. I appreciate you. I ate so much more than you know. But this is what I need you to do for me. I need you to, to share this video with any one of your like family members, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, put it on your social media accounts. When you're out and you see somebody Funko Pop honey, tell them about the channel. When you're talking to somebody about your Funko Pop collection and they want to know some more information about these things, I would truly appreciate it if you would send them that my way. I truly hope that there's more pops coming out of this list because it is... It is kind of lackluster at this moment. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and I'm going to see you next time. Have a good one.